Hello, this is John Fawcett, Warning Coordination Meteorologist for the National Weather Service Office serving southern New Mexico and far west Texas. This is an update to the current flash flood scenario, which should last at least through tomorrow, Thursday. The potential impacts, well, we've already seen some of this. The flash flood potential is going to be highest east of the Rio Grande today. And then in the central portion, tonight, overnight, into tomorrow morning. And then uh, as we move into tomorrow uh, afternoon and evening, it'll shift further west to west of the Rio Grande. Now, road closures have already occurred, and they will likely continue with the amount of rain we've had. The ground is becoming saturated, and it doesn't take much more rain to produce the runoff that leads to flash flooding. The flooding will most likely occur when either you have a large area of heavy rain or you have a smaller area of very intense rainfall. The former we saw the other day, yesterday in fact, when you had a large area of one to two inches of rainfall in the Gila region and the Gila River nearly reached flood stage towards the Arizona border. And then as far as the intense rainfall over a small area, um, Pick your poison. We, we had several of them uh, yesterday and this morning, and that should continue. Unfortunately, if you have any outdoor festivities uh, scheduled for this evening or maybe the next couple of evenings, you'll have to either move them indoors or well, it's up to you, but they may have to be canceled as well. We want you to stay safe. The current weather scenario hasn't changed much. You still have the upper low sitting over southern Nevada and the upper high well off to the east. The significance of this pattern is the counterclockwise flow around the low and the clockwise flow around the high come together to have a, a very deep plume of moisture within southerly flow coming out of Mexico right into southern New Mexico and far west Texas. This shifts further east or further west depending on the uh, uh, the position of that upper high. Uh, right now we're seeing it shift a little further to the east, but it'll come back to the west eventually. The Weather Prediction Center has put out this seven-day rainfall outlook, mainly from Tuesday, yesterday, through this coming Tuesday. Uh, and I would say most of that is going to be occurring from yesterday through Friday morning. And we're well on our way to reaching these three to four plus inch totals. And isolated areas will have even more than that. Uh, the, we've ha already had many locations with more than one inch, some of them up to three inches already. So we're well on our way. And uh, this is one of those scenarios you, re the scenarios you run into once or twice a year. So uh, we're in it right now. The uncertainties, well, the exact location of intense rainfall, you're probably getting tired of us saying that, but it's true. It's really uh, something you can see 30 minutes to maybe an hour ahead of time, and that's where we'll issue the warnings, but uh, these areas are, are specific, and a lot of it has to do with the timing of any upper impulses that come around that upper low. That can really enhance rainfall, and then there's the timing of the plume breakup. The plume is that deep layer of moisture traveling out of the south and that is what we have right now. Well eventually the models indicate it's going to break up somewhat. It won't be solid or consistent. You'll still have a chance of showers but not like we have right now. And the models are coming into closer agreement but still disagree on uh, when this will take place. Uh, it could be as early as tomorrow Thursday evening or as late as maybe 24 hours later, later on Friday. Currently, a flash flood watch is in effect. Today, it's for the central and east portion of the area. And as that plume starts to shift further west, is going to be more like um, uh, the entire area tomorrow, early morning into midday. And then by tomorrow evening, it should be further to the west. We'll be issuing flash flood warnings, flood advisories. We've already done that so far this morning. And then... If you get enough rainfall over a large area like we had yesterday, there may be 
the possibility of another river flood warning for the Gila River out there way off to the west. Expected impacts once again, well, flash flooding. That's fairly obvious. Road closures, uh, that, that's likely. Uh, flooding could indicate uh, or could be, lead to a river flood warning over there uh, in the uh, southwestern part of New Mexico along the Gila River. That's not nearly as certain as some of these other things. And then watch your outdoor festivities. We want you to stay safe. It's not worth it. Uh, so you might have to move it indoors or cancel it. Uh, and as, as always, emergency managers, please monitor the latest statements and forecasts and speaking of the emergency management community and the media, use our NWS chat room. And then everybody, we have our Facebook presence, Twitter account, and YouTube, which is what you're watching this on right now, most likely. Thank you for your time. Stay safe.